Well, his first two books about Donald Trump were bombshells, and now legendary journalist Bob Woodward is at it again. He and Washington Post political reporter Robert Costa have a new book coming out. It's called Peril, and it looks at the tumultuous period between the November presidential election and the inauguration of Joe Biden. Our Jamie Gangell has a sneak peek at the book. So, Jamie, great to see you. What's in there? Uh, fasten your seatbelt. According to sources familiar with the book, we are told the reporting covers the final days of Donald Trump. It also has a first look at the Biden White House, including extensive reporting on Biden's decision making leading up to withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, here are a few other exclusive details. I'm told that they interviewed more than 200 insiders for the book that they obtained never-before-seen materials, secret orders, transcripts of confidential calls, diaries, emails, meeting notes, and other personal and government records. And that, as you said, the book is has really in-depth reporting on that critical period between Election Day and January 6th, and that it's going to reveal that the transition was, and I'm quoting here, far more than just a domestic political crisis, that it was one of the most dangerous periods in American history. Allison, the title, Peril, actually comes from Biden's inauguration address, the line where he said, we have much to do in this winter of peril and possibility. Allison. Um, Jamie, I don't suppose that Bob Woodward got any more interviews with Donald Trump. <laughs> Funny thing about that, no. I am told that uh, Donald Trump is still very angry about a uh, rage where uh, Woodward revealed that the, pres the then president knew much more about COVID. Uh, I, I just want to say about this book, we have not read the book yet, but uh, there is one quote from this book that we obtained that I would say is both intriguing and ominous. And that is a quote from Trump's former campaign manager, Brad Parscale. And it's about Trump's ambition and motivation for 2024. And Parscale writes, he had an army, an army for Trump. He wants that back. I don't think he sees it as a comeback. He sees it as vengeance. So I think that gives you a sense of what uh, Woodward and Costa have learned about where Trump's head is right now. Well, I mean, it is. That is chilling in some way, particularly when right. you look at it in light of January 6th. And so there were there were revelations, as we know, in Woodward's previous books. Right. Does he have any revelations about what went on behind the scenes before or during January 6th? I, I expect that he will. Um, you know, Woodward has an expression that he doesn't like to publish a book until he, quote, has the goods. I am told he has the goods. So I think we're going to see uh, not one, but several bombshells from this book. And we know you will bring those to us, Jamie, because you have an uncanny way of getting those before everyone else. So thank I will, you. I will do my best. Okay. Jamie Gangel, always great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.